the way, just so everybody understands little things. So, got to play, get Kansas credit, play, they play hard on defense, got some turnovers, we got to hold on to the ball. Um, I was worried all week. Um, you know, we had the SMU game, which has been an emotional game, coming off, and then the Oklahoma game, and I didn't feel like even starting on Tuesday we did. But we practiced pretty decent, but we didn't, especially on offense, we did not play that way today, but we still still had plays. We, we, we had about four or five balls that should have been caught, and we can't lay the ball on the ground. Now we need to get ready for Oklahoma State. We've got two teams in a row that both have off weeks for us. Oklahoma State has two weeks, and then Texas has two weeks. Uh, so we got to get ready to play. Got to make somebody miss their turn. But uh, a lot happier at three and three right now. Yes. You've been been looking for a receiver to step up, and David Porter filled that bill today. Him and Cam Looper. I thought Cam Looper yeah. had a couple catches. You know we we just got to keep playing. Your, your defense is putting in some more binds. With turnovers, uh. and, you know, I, I've been in a bind since I started here 16 years ago. <laughs> so, I mean, that's we've just got to play better. Who knows how good this group can play in the yards if, if we move the football and and don't have to do it and get done what we need to get done. So, it's we just we've got to go play. Paul Dawson had 17 tackles in his first yeah, we're start. Yeah, we're not, you know, it's, we finally got him in the game, do some things, and he, and he made some plays, which is awesome because we have him, you know, we have Derek Kindred. Uh, we didn't get in our nickel package as much, so he didn't play as much as I liked him to. Uh, but both him and him and Paul stepping up really making us a better football team than they keep doing. Uh, Paul was, was kind of the reason on the one back screen that got loose and we knocked him loose for a fumble. Uh, you got to cover him, but outside that, he, he did a tremendous job. And then Terrell Lathan, two more sacks today as well. Yeah. He continues to step up. Yeah, but you know, it's that side of that side of the him and uh, Mike Tuna and both. You know, really stepped up. For us to say the people we lost and still be playing like we do, uh, we just were precautionary on it. You probably saw Brad didn't play much in the fourth quarter. A little bit, he was a little bit tightened up uh, in his shoulders, so we just we held him out. Kevon came in, made a couple plays. Aaron Green got the most carries he's had all season. Was that because of Wayman's fumbles or just because he was oh, running the yeah, ball well? He was finally the guy that can hold on to the football. What did you think of his performance? Uh, without watching, I don't know. I, we didn't have any luck. You know, got to make a guy miss. But I mean, he, hit, he got some tough yards, and I didn't turn the ball over. I think those are big issues. You know, we got to understand in, in crowds, you can you can need to fight for extra yards. But once you get in a crowd of five or six, you need to get down. And we got to keep quick twisting and turning and doing things. There's there's an art, there's an art to being an inside runner. Anytime you ever show the ball, you're going to get yourself in trouble. You can't show the ball. You have to keep the ball below you. So we've got to, we've got to, we've got to make sure that we do that. On that pick six, uh, Cam fell down. Had he run the right route? Also, oh, it, you know, it's a guy that actually we had a we had a running back that was in the pass uh, route. He actually ran the wrong, wrong route, so it allowed the safety to get over the top. Do you hear anything about uh, Ty, what his condition is, and why he set out the... Yeah, he won't. Yeah, got, got banged up a little bit. Coach, I know you don't uh, single out individuals ever, but you know, does Brandon Carter have to step up at some point this season? Well, yeah, I mean, all older guys got to. I mean, it's... At some point in time, if we want to, if we want to win more games, than we lose. And guys are going to have to make plays. You know, they knocked a couple balls away. Again, we're waiting for the football. You got to come back. Even on outs, you got to come back to the ball. Good DBs are going to, good DBs are going to knock them away. On that punt, do you teach when that when it's you know it, it's pretty far away from them and it's up a little bit? Do you teach them to run up and catch it on yeah, that? Yeah, we have no. We have what we call a, a Peter call. Get away. So he should have not tried to catch it. Well, not even if he tries to catch it, he needs to be screaming it so everybody gets out of his way so he can't go to catch it. Yeah. I mean, it's, we practice those things, to be honest with you. I personally think they were trying to kick it there. We, our guys are going back in our return. They've got to start finding the football, and they got to know they got to get out of the way also. I mean, there's a little bit of an art to all that. Every time.
time you give give something back on a return, like a kickoff turn or, or a punt return fumble, that's like kicking an onside kick. And you give them an extra possession. And it's hard on defenses because of the simple reason they just did a great job and now they're back on the field. Here you guys ran the ball better today. It seemed uh, offensive line play better. Or well, I, I, without looking, I don't know. But I mean, we had we had our times. The thing I told them is, you know, in the fourth quarter we got to go. We got to go get that score that knocks them out. That makes them, it's, it stayed in a one score game too long. Whether we get down there, get another field goal, which we finally did on the long term return, then we get the field goal. Or, you know, we got the ball at the forty, and we don't do anything. We got to We had we had to pooch find it into the red zone four times. That's, we got to do better. We got to do a better job than that. But I mean, it's, we're going we're gonna to take it. The good part about it is you found a way to get through it. Okay, we're still uh, unbeaten at home, so we're back to protecting the Carter. You know, now we got to go to Oklahoma State. You got to got to play an early ball game up there and get ready to go. So. Uh, Kind of the unsung hero for you guys today was Ethan with his pooch kicks and inside the 25 times. Can you speak of how well he did today? Yeah, I, I was very happy with him. Very happy with his, uh, because, you know, it's a difference. It's a difference the ball coming out the 25 and the ball being on the 5 or the 10. How an offensive coordinator calls the game. I mean, it's a big difference. Even if they get one first down, you're still not at the 25, and, and you can still stop them, which we were able to do. It's a difference in field position when you punt it. So, I mean, it's... You know, it's a big weapon when you can do that. It makes you a lot better on defense when you can do that. Was there any specific reasoning why uh, Brandon Carter didn't see the field until the end of the second quarter? Was it uh, performance, suspension? Something between him and I. How did you think the offense came out? Uh, this game. It was 10-10 at the half, but they scored on their second possession. I thought we, I I thought we tried, we talked all week, I thought we tried to start fast. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thanks, Dave. Were you happy with the play calling, with yeah. run, running the football? I mean, number one, not only that, we got a guy running down the middle and we overthrow him on the second, third series of the game. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I, was, I was happy with what went on. I mean, we got to, you can, you can't go down there and then uh, we have 12 guys on the field on a drive around the start of the half and then you go and you're back to first and 15. Should not happen. Trayvon should have kept him in the huddle, wait until he got to the sideline, and then you can break out of the huddle. You can't break out of the huddle with a guy running. I mean, then, it, then we get a sack, then it's third and 17, and, and you, know, it's, you can't do those things. We just, we got we to gotta keep moving ourselves forward. I understand this is not a play, it's not backyard football and go about our business. Find a way to win. We had 380 and they had 198. We had 63 plays and they had 60. So I'd have to say that we. Is it safe to say that we might see Cameron Moore on punt returns? You know, moving yeah, forward? Yeah, I mean, he's going to keep. I mean, he's the guy that's been safer with it and, and he's had some returns on it. Right now, because he's a freshman, I'm not sure he's as explosive as what Brandon is. Um, we just got to make better decisions, and we make better decisions. Or we should. We had a couple times where he fair caught it, where we could have got a couple returns. We had chances, and so you take the bad with the good. But overall, I was happy with it. The only thing I didn't like was because we had two pretty good sized returns. The only thing I didn't like about it was just the one fumble. So it's got to hold on to the football. But they didn't like it either because the guy always kicked his right to our left, and then finally on the one he kicks. Try to go clear across the field with it because he knew we were setting up returns to do that. So, Brett gave up a couple catches. Do you think he was trying to do too much in terms of trying to force turnovers? Or? No. I mean, they're going to catch balls on Brett. He's not Superman. You know. Um, but he's close sometimes. <laughs> some days. But I mean, it's, he's got to keep battling. I told him you, you can't. You got to go play. You can't. You can't. Disengage yourself from the game thinking people aren't going to throw at you because they are. Is he playing for a lot of pain? No. Not a lot. I mean, it's, there's not anybody playing right now in game six. Six is going to have something that hurts. That's just college football. If you don't have, if you don't, if you're not banged up, you either haven't played very hard or you haven't been playing. Were you 
disappointed with the crowd all the day? Oh, I mean, it's, you got to do what you have to do. The one score game in the fourth quarter. And plus it's My job is to win. Are you surprised at all by Texas beating Oklahoma? No. You know, Oklahoma had two emotional games, us and um, Notre Dame. Texas played on Thursday. Texas still is, still has good players. Made some plays, I think they intercepted pick six, and then run a putt back to touch. You, know, you do that, and crazy things can happen to you. Coach, how does it feel to finally get the Big 12 win here at, at the Carter? Or oh, much? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, because it's the next one. Mm -hmm. it's, we, we got to battle until we get. You know, anytime you can win and things aren't going your way, overall, it is in all three phases, so you take them every time. I mean, it's just what you do. Because every, every game's a battle going down the road. I just watched uh, Missouri uh, beat Georgia. You know, it's uh, K State's giving Baylor all they want. I mean, it's Iowa State went 35 28 with Texas Tech. I mean, it's the league's going to be in some. You better go play every week. Do you know if you expect Ty to be back by next week? I don't know. We'll evaluate things tomorrow. Did Dawson earn, earn his party, starting job? Or? Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, you got you to find that guys to make plays. You got to find guys to make plays. What do you say about uh, Terrell? You know, he keeps doing He's had us about had a sack in every ball game we played in so far. Really pressure, and he should have had, to be honest with you, he had another one. If they quit trying to kill, kill the quarterback, him and McFarland both were trying, and the guy moves out of their way. I mean, that's going to move. He doesn't like getting sacked. I mean, it's, you just don't stand there. So it's, uh, we got, we got, but I, I thought he could have had three instead of two today. But you know, I really, really, uh, the back seven is just doing an unbelievable job of listening and making adjustments. And anytime you give yourself a chance to hold the ball more than two seconds, uh, they're doing they're doing a tremendous job. So we just you know, we just got to keep going. How did Gamble do coming in for direct? What's that? How did Gamble do coming in? For he did. Come, you know, they threw the one fade that was out of bounds outside of that. Did a, he was a guy that uh, tackled the guy when they were reviewing the fumble. But I thought you know come in and. Played out, and played out you know, I don't know really a lot because a lot of times he was away from me, but he listened and we played. That was the biggest thing. Is they were a team where we, we called coverages by their splits. And uh, you know, he was able to adjust with Hackett because he was in the boundary and, and make the adjustments and do some of the things we needed to do. So. Is there a final question for Coach, and we'll have players. Anything? Hey. Thanks, Coach.